Uh, uh, I think the microphone's in the frame. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. So anyway, <laughs> what's going on YouTube? Joshua Wade here. I want to thank you for taking the time to check out this video. And today's topic is this little baby right here. This is the M1 MacBook Air, 512 gigabyte hard drive with eight gigabytes of RAM. For those of you who don't know, the only difference uh, between the 256 and the 512 is I get one extra GPU core. So I have an eight core as opposed to the seven core, which isn't going to matter much for this test because this is just all about audio. So I'm going to put the MacBook down and I'm gonna grab my notes here. Sorry if I look down all the time, guys. I've got all the notes right here because I don't want to get any of the numbers wrong. Starting out with Logic Pro, this was at 96K 24-bit. I was able to get comfortably 101 audio tracks of record simultaneously. And I say comfortably, I was sometimes able to push it to like 103, 104, but I would get unexpected dropouts. And 101 audio tracks at 96K was consistent no dropouts actually i didn't have any dropouts with 101 tracks 48k still at 24 bit i was able to bump the track count up to 164 tracks uh, again reliably that's without any dropouts or any issues and i tested it probably five six times so switching over to studio one is for the audio test at 96 kilohertz 24 bit again i was able to get 101 audio tracks seamless reliable recording and the difference between studio one is they actually let you go in and change your dropout protection method so i put it at medium i put it at the, the middle of the road because that was the closest that i got that i didn't notice any clicking or popping or weird artifacts going on and as soon as i did that the stats were pretty much the same as logic pro on this one at 96k 24 bit you're at 101 audio tracks inside of studio one and at 48k 24 bit it was 164 tracks and again that's 164 tracks and 101 tracks of you know smooth editing and smooth playback and smooth recording. There were no dropouts, no artifacts, clicks, or pops. If you want anything above 164 tracks at 48K, you might have to bump up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. That was kind of surprising. I Honestly, I expected Logic Pro to do a little bit better than PreSonus, but it just goes to show you, you know, PreSonus really, they step up to the plate and they, they optimize it the best that they could. So that's gonna do it for me, guys. If you got anything out of this video, feel free to hit that like button. And remember, it's called music theory, not music fact. Have a good one.